The biggest downside of social media is that it gives unrealistic expectations of what you will look like when we lift weights. Because when you go on Instagram and scroll through our feed, every second guy on there is on steroids or is taking performance enhancing drugs. And we also can't forget about that those people are taking like a thousand pictures and are picking the best one. And we only see the highlights of the very best people. And I do understand those guys and I do understand the Instagram algorithm because people just want to see impressive things. And I also think those physiques are very impressive. But many people forget that those people are sacrificing their health to look like this because injecting testosterone and getting to super physiological levels isn't healthy and sustainable for a long time. And this is the reason why I'm making this video, because I want to show you what actually a realistic, natural physique looks like, which can be achieved with hard work. Now, personally, I have to say, I of course don't have elite genetics. I'm not someone who could win a natural bodybuilding show, but still I think I don't have the worst genetics, because I'm someone who can build muscle pretty fast. And this is the reason I want to show you which struggles I go through and what it's actually possible to achieve as a natural lifter. So that the next time when you look into the mirror, don't have to feel bad about yourself. Because you don't compare yourself to someone who has testosterone levels of 2000 nanograms per deciliter which we as natural lifters could never achieve. Alright, so one of the first things that we as natural lifters have to be aware of is that we can't look lean year around. Whenever we want to achieve a good physique, we have to go through a bulking phase. And when we bulk up, we won't be able to have a six pack and veins through our arms up to our shoulders. This isn't realistic. Of course, I myself also sometimes think Oh, I'm looking a bit too chubby in this bulk right now. But this is actually only because I see people who are on steroids who are going through a bulk. They are just able to stay lean, have veins all over their body and still build muscle. But this isn't what a natural body is capable of. When we as natural lifters want to build up some serious mass, we will have to lean into the bulk and embrace the body fat gain and have to say goodbye to the abs. Now, of course, this can be a bit harsh to hear this truth, but at this point I need to mention, if you're actually someone who is lifting weights to appear more attractive, having abs year-round actually isn't always something what the girls or the other gender are expecting you to have or even want you to have. Some people really like the bulky look, which gives the dad vibes who just has lots of strength. And this is what we can embrace as natural lifters, because we go through phases. In the winter we might be a bit more bulky because we want to build muscle and in the summer we can go into the shredded season. And for this I also need to mention we won't be able to sustain our mass during this time. So I am someone who firstly loses some strength and sometimes even some mass if I really want to cut down. This is especially the case when I want to get the finishing on my lower abs. Personally I struggle with this the most and most lifters as well, because here this is the last place people oftentimes lose body fat, so everything else is already shredded, but to get your lower abs, you would have to get really really shredded. Great, and now by talking about how lean we can get as natural lifters, I also want to talk about which vascularity we can expect as natural lifters. Because on social media, many people admire how veiny those lifters look like and how they can even get veins through their chest or their shoulders. And for this I have to say, this actually is all about genetics. Some people just aren't as vascular as others. Now I'm someone who is personally vascular year round. Of course, when I cut down, my veins will be more visible than in a bulk. But still, when I'm bulking, like for example this winter, I have veins who are going through my forearm, bicep and up to my shoulders. And many people think this is only possible as an enhanced lifter. And I'm here to say that this isn't true. So for this, you might can expect a bit more than you think you could. And now you maybe already have realized a bit that as a natural lifter, it's very difficult to be big and lean at the same time. 
but for this I still have a few tricks that you can apply to get the very best out of your physique. Now I recommend to any natural lifter to be 80% of the time in a slight surplus. So always try to build a little bit of muscle and eat more calories than you actually burn. Because the thing is when you are enhanced you can go into the extreme. You can bulk up extremely hard and then lose all of the fat in like a month or two without sacrificing strength or the mass that you've built up. But we as natural lifters can't really do this. Firstly, when we just go overboard with our calories, our body will store this as body fat and can't burn it off this fast again. And on the other side, when we cut down to very low calories, our hormonal stuff actually also decreases. Because when we only consume like 1500 calories, our body won't be able to produce enough testosterone. And when we don't want to inject testosterone into our veins, we have to be very careful with the little amount of testosterone which is being produced naturally. So we shouldn't do anything which might potentially decrease our natural production. So for this, I actually recommend you to never go lower than 2500 calories a day. For some people this sounds crazy and they think, Oh no, with 2500 calories, I'm actually in a bulking phase. Now, for some people this might be true, then I just recommend you to increase your activity level. Just go for some more walks or do some cardio every now and then. Because your body really needs some amount of calories to be able to have all the nutrients and vitamins to be healthy. And then also when you want to bulk up, you shouldn't go over 3000 calories. Of course, at the end of the day, this totally depends on how heavy you are. And I will also talk about this later on this video. But still, most natural lifters are good with just eating 3000 calories a day to bulk up. Sadly for this, we also have been brainwashed through social media with people who are on steroids who are eating 5000 calories a day just to build muscle that we as natural lifters should be doing the same thing. But this isn't true. We shouldn't go into those extremes. 100 or 200 calories over our maintenance levels is enough to build muscle. If you go higher than this, all of the extra calories will be just stored as body fat. And then we have to cut down for a longer time and have to leave our natural peak potential in the tank because we just go too high into the bulking and too low into the cutting phases. And now as I mentioned before, also for natural lifters, we have to be aware of that we will never be able to be as heavy as people who are on steroids. Sadly, many people out there, even famous people are saying, oh, you shouldn't cut down before you're like 90 or 100 kgs. I know for some people, maybe for like two meters tall, then 90 kgs isn't this heavy. But for some people, for example, for me, so I think about 5'9", I look my very best when I'm around 75 kgs. So this is also something many people don't know about. When for example look at the natural bodybuilders who are on stage, they aren't very heavy. They are never like 80 or 90 kgs. Most of them are around about 60, maybe up to 75 kgs, but not heavier than this. Because when you are lean as a natural lifter, it's almost impossible to be very heavy and also very strong. Now if you don't really believe me, you've probably all have heard about Greg Doucette, the bodybuilder who was also on YouTube making videos. Back in the days when he used to be a natural lifter, he also competed in natural bodybuilding shows and he was saying that he weighed around 60 kgs. And I mean when we look at him, he looks great and most people would never guess that he is this light. So this is something else where social media gives us unrealistic expectations and can be very misleading for someone who is a natural lifter because he might think to himself, oh I need to eat more food to weigh 90 or 100 kgs but then he just gets overweight and loses all of his definition. So as I said in this video, you're best off just being in a slight surplus and not expecting to be too heavy and too big whilst being lean at the same time. Alright, that's it. I really hope that I was able to show you and explain you what we as natural lifters can expect to look like. And personally, when I look at the people who have achieved the true natural peak, I don't want to look bigger than this. When I'm able to get to this point, then I'm happy. Anything else is just too much and doesn't look healthy anymore. Then if you found this video helpful, then I would appreciate it a lot if you would like and subscribe to see more content like this. Then thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.